Hello everyone, welcome to Metaverse Insider. What is blockchain? Blockchain is a system of recording information and makes any digital asset unalterable and transparent through the use of decentralization and cryptographic hashing. Each block in the chain contains a number of transactions and every time a new transaction occurs on the blockchain, a record of that transaction is added to every participant's ledger. In this video, you will learn the high-level overview looking at the primary dimensions of this technology that we call the blockchain. We will first talk about the underlying technology, then the distributed ledgers that this technology supports, then the token economies that can be built on top of that ledger system. On its most basic level, the blockchain is a new class of information technology that combines cryptography with distributed computing, both of which have already existed for a number of decades. As such, we can say that the blockchain as the technology is simply a distributed secure database. This database consists of a string of blocks, each one a record of data that has been encrypted and given a unique identifier called the hash. Mining computers on the network validate transactions, add them to the blocks they are building and then broadcast the completed block to other nodes so that all have a copy of the database. Because there is no centralized component to verify the alterations to the database, the blockchain depends upon a distributed consensus algorithm in order to make an entry into the blockchain database. All computers have to agree about its state so that no one computer can make an alteration without the consensus of the others. Once completed, a block goes into the blockchain as a permanent record. Each time a block gets completed, a new one is generated. There is a countless number of such blocks in the blockchain, all connected to each other by links in a chain proper linear chronological order. The blockchain was designed so the transactions are immutable, meaning they cannot be deleted. Each block contains a hash value that is dependent upon the hash of the previous block, so they are all linked together. Meaning, if one is changed, then all the other blocks linked to it going forwards will be altered. This works to make the data entered tamper-proof. What we have described here is the first generation of the blockchains, which function largely simply as databases. But the technology is evolving to become much more than this as the second generation blockchain already provides the capacity to execute any computer code on the blockchain. The system is evolving to become a globally distributed computing infrastructure. At this time, it remains very much a work in progress. Blockchain technology works to create a permanent and secure database. This makes blockchain suitable for the storage of a record or transaction that involves value or in some way it needs to be a secure and trusted source of information. These secure distributed records are called distributed ledgers. A distributed ledger is a consensus of replicated, shared, and synchronized digital data geographically dispersed across multiple sites, countries, or institutions without centralized administrations or centralized data storage being maintained instead by a distributed network of computers. Such ledgers can be used for any of asset registry, such as inventory or monetary transactions. This might include recording of hard assets such as a physical property, cars, homes, and so on, or intangible assets, such as currencies, patents, votes, identity, healthcare, data, or any other form of valuable information. This distributed ledger technology enables us to replace a multiplicity of private databases within each organization with one shared database that is trusted and accessible by all parties involved. In this respect, the blockchain enables trust between parties that may otherwise not trust each other. The results greatly strengthen our capacity for collaboration between organizations or between individuals peer-to-peer, -peer, 
without dependency on third parties centralized institutions. Likewise, this results in transparency and many other inefficiencies. This is of major significance as we currently have many centralized organizations that may be internally optimized but the inter-organizational space in between them is really inefficient with a huge amount of border friction, redundancy, arbitrage, and resources wasted on competition. By enabling trust into organizational networks, these ledgers enable the formation of organization and collaboration where previously there was none, such as across whole supply chains or for different healthcare providers to collaborate around the patient's needs or for different transport providers to collaborate in delivering an integrated logistic network. Second-generation blockchains offer the possibility to automate the workings of these networks through what we call smart contracts. Smart contracts are computer code that is stored inside a blockchain which encode contractual agreements. These smart contracts are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement or operation directly written into lines of code which are stored and executed on the blockchain. Like normal computer programs, these containers hold algorithms that take an input of data and depending on the value of the input, trigger certain events. For instance, this might be a financial contract that inputs the amounts of money in a person's accounts. If it is above a certain level, then it increases the interest rate that they earn on their deposits. Such smart contracts can be used for automating and many basic operations on the networks. Once again, working to remove the need for intermediary third-party institutions as a smart contract can be trusted, a tamper-proof, and executes automatically. Token economies much of the current discussion surrounding blockchain remains at the level of technology and the possibilities of distributed ledgers as its shared trusted database enabling the collaboration between the organizations resulting in this intermediation of centralized institutions and market exchanges. However, its implications go far beyond this as the blockchain concept is more than just a database or a ledger. It is a new organizing paradigm for the discovery, validation, and transfer of all discrete units of value and the developments of distributed organizations via token market system. A token is a quantified unit of value that is recorded on the blockchain. This value may be of any kinds. It may be likes on social media, it might be a currency, it might be the integrity of an ecosystem or might be an electrical unit. Token network consists of a network of independent nodes that act autonomously. But through incentive structures and the signaling system of the market, self-organize to create emergent coordination and thus a distributed management system. For instance, we might create a clean air token where anyone who provides a service that contributes to the maintenance and provision of clean air can earn tokens, for example, by planting a tree. And for those who pollutes, operating a combustion engine have to pay in air tokens. Thus, instead of having a centralized authority and a clean air act, we have a token market that works to create signals that align people incentives with maintaining and growing the underlying resources. Likewise, the same model could be applied to the management of technology infrastructures as an example. We could think of traffic control. We currently have traffic control system in cities whose operations are monitored by centralized control centers. But in a world of autonomous vehicles in the blockchain, cars could signal to each other. Each appear bidding tokens to see which gets priority in such a way the system has dynamically allocated resources and self-organized via distributed token networks. In short, blockchain is not just an information technology but also an institutional technology that enables us to design incentive structures in the form of token economies and in such a way converge centralized organizations into distributed markets via token economies. This is where things start quite 
complex as you move into the realm of designing economies and incentive system for coordinating human activity in a decentralized fashion. Something that could potentially enable the coordination of human activity at a much larger scale than has been possible before. The great design innovation of the blockchain is really its capacity to coordinate a network of autonomous nodes towards maintaining a shared infrastructures and this is done not just through innovations in information technology but also through the design of incentive systems which have traditionally been the domain of economics. Through adding a layer of trust and value exchange to the internet, the blockchain merges our newly developed information networks with the institutional structures that sit on top of them. In doing so, it greatly strengthens the capacity of those networks as a new mode for organizing society and economy. By merging economics and technology, it enables us to redesign institutional structures and ultimately reconceptualize how we organize virtually every aspect of society, economy, and even technology infrastructure based on networks of autonomous nodes that are incentivized to collaborate. Of course, it does not do this alone. Such claims can only be realized in combination of other technologies and broader processes of change. As such, the blockchain has to be understood in the context of a broader set of technological transformations taking place with the current evolution of the internet. Most notably, much what the blockchain promises will only be possible given parallel development in the internet of things, datafication, and advanced analytics. All of which are combining to form the next generation of internet of which the blockchain will be a critical infrastructure. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. I do hope you learned from this video. See you in the metaverse.